Good afternoon, everyone. I hope that everyone is doing well. I am Larry the Batman fan. So today's topic that I'm going to be talking about is the problems with pornography. This is not normally something that I would talk about, but I, d I have done a few faith-based episodes here, videos. Also, because of the mature subject matter, your discretion is advised. If you are under the age of 18, please click away. Do not watch this particular video because the topic, the subject matter, is inappropriate for children. Anyways, let's get started. So, the problems with pornography is simple. Pornography causes marriage problems between a male and a female spouse. Because if a man is watching pornography and his wife comes home from a hard day's work and he has the day off, or vice versa, sees him watching that, they're starting to, th one of them, especially the woman, because the woman thinks differently than the man, is going to eventually think that, that he doesn't love her. Or she, or he's going to think that she doesn't love him. Because that can happen with a relationship, with a married couple, or people in a relationship. This is not something that is um, for um, really anyone to watch. You know, this, is, this isn't even R-rated stuff. This is X-rated stuff. This is worse than R. This is NC-17 stuff. You know what I mean? And why, if, why is it that Hollywood's against making NC-17 movies, but yet they have the Playboy channel on cable, Penthouse, and four or five other pornographic channels that are on the TV? This is not good. This is all bad stuff. This is inappropriate stuff. And it's not good for a, even adults to watch. Because of what it does is it rewires the brain and eventually it becomes an addiction. You start to think that this is okay. That this is normal for a man, a regular human being, to start watching a man have sex with a woman or a woman have sex with a man and in certain cases homosexual couples or lesbian couples are mentioned or shown on the TV and that is not cool in my book that's against the Lord the Lord talked about it in his word that homosexuals and lesbians is not appropriate is not acceptable in his eyes there is no production or production, reproduction, I mean, of a child with two females or two men. This is an abomination to the Lord. And they're doing that in pornography as well. These online sites, Pornhub and Xvideos and RedTube, it's an abomination. And it's very addictive. And, um, I mean, even though sex is beautiful between a man and a woman, to watch it on TV or on your phone and the internet because I know that there's Pornhub, RedTube and um, X videos out there that are like the three leading uh, porn sites and they're all really bad and corrupt and people have access to this sort of thing and they, they think it's okay some of them but us Christians and people of faith know that this is not good. You know, and I get, I get why a Christian would watch it once, but that's that's because he's. It's usually a man that is doing it. It's not a woman so much. It's a man mostly. I feel that that's the most common case is that it's a man, not not so much the woman. The woman's able to resist it more than the man. Because men have sexual desires for this sort of stuff. 
Hold on. Men are horny men. They really are. And so, because of this stuff, <clears throat> it rewires the brain for the man, and then the man starts to think that it's normal. It's the same thing with biting your nails, which I have a habit of doing. Picking your nose. Watching demonic movies. Watching R-rated films that are not godly. Um, even at a job, you know, and this is a good thing for the job standards. That, like, when you do things in repetition, like operating machinery or... You know, just pushing grocery carts or whatever the job may be. You eventually get good at it. Even if you suck in the very beginning at the job, you eventually do get good at the job. So things like that is actually good in progression. But pornography, it starts off small. It starts off innocent. But in the end, it'll destroy you. And then there's scripture in the Bible that talks about that too that says anything that looks good and feels good will really destroy you in the end. I believe that's in the book of Corinthians. There's scriptures about not being deceived by a woman or letting lustful thoughts into your mind. Do you know that it is a sin? Like a man that lusts after a woman even in the form of pornography has lusted in his heart. And God sees it as still committing adultery. So pornography is no joke. Pornography is very bad. It's just as bad as witchcraft, demonic movies, movies that take the Lord's name in vain. And um, the, you know, ASMR, I see a demonic side on that too. Because I had a very bad dream. After listening to ASMR while I slept. So I don't watch ASMR anymore. I had to say, okay, I'm sorry, Lord, forgive me. I understand it's an abomination. It's no good. I need to stop watching it. Please forgive me. Please keep me away from ASMR. Please keep me away from pornography and all these demonic movies. And so... I may not be perfect. I may have struggled through a few things here. I'll admit I love looking at women too. I've seen many pretty women at my job. But that's the man. You know, God designed us that way. So why would it be bad? It's not bad to look at a woman. It's not bad to have those, those desires to connect. There's nothing wrong with that. That's perfectly normal for a man to be attracted to a woman and a woman to be attracted to a man but where the boundary has crossed the line is when a man and a woman or a woman or one man or one woman rather are watching pornography because of what it does it's an addiction it's demonic and a lot of people don't understand why it's demonic well with asmr i found out that that's demonic because what it does is when you sleep and you have a dream, what it'll do is you'll see something very dark in your dream. And the dream I had was very dark and sinister. And I will say that it wasn't good, so I stopped watching that. And it didn't come at me full force in the dream. It was very light. It seemed very light. But I just knew that if I kept watching ASMR, it would get worse and get heavier. The dreams would have gotten heavier. And the same thing with Ouija boards. When you play with the Ouija board the first time, nothing happens. You, everything seems normal. But they don't realize that there are demonic spirits in the Ouija board as well. And those demonic spirits do not come at you full force. Satan is very good at luring people in. The Bible says in Proverbs 5 that the devil is like a prowling lion looking for to deceive and destroy, looking to devour that person. But he doesn't start, he, he doesn't 
come at you full force the first time. He uses his demonic things, his ghosts and his witches, people that serve the devil. He even uses people. That's how he gets you. He uses people to do bad things, use bad influence on you. Until eventually you start hanging out with the wrong crowd. And the wrong crowd, that's no good either. It's not good to hang out with the wrong crowd. It ruins good morals. And it talks about that in the Bible as well. Hanging out with good people brings good morals. But hanging out with bad people brings bad morals. But I, I'm not trying to get off topic. I know I'm going from Bible scripture to Bible scripture to Bible scripture. I'm trying to stay consistent here. <clears throat> I have learning disabilities, so just bear with me. So, yeah, pornography is evil and wicked and not good. I know Jack the Goldkick has a porn addiction, and I could see how it's bad. Kadeem the King, he doesn't seem to think that it has any effect on us. He's wrong because it can have an effect on your spirit, but it just doesn't come at you full force. It starts off very small. So you don't think much of it. But then as time goes on, you're watching pornography, you start to get used to it, like repetition. And then it starts to stick in your mind. It starts to become a habit. It's like smoking cigarettes. You smoke a cigarette once or twice, nothing. Then eventually, a year or two goes by, you're buying packs of cigarettes at 7-Eleven or Stewart's like once a week. You know, it just gets really bad. I I had a smoking problem for a while. I smoked when I was 18 years old. The legal age of smoking was 18. Now it's 21. But I smoked at 18, and I continued smoking until I was like 28. I kept smoking. I just couldn't stop smoking. And it developed such a bad cough. <coughs> like every like 10 minutes. It was, it was coughing and coughing and coughing. And then at 29 and 30 years old, I was battling with it for a while. Quitting for four months and then having to go back to it. Quitting for three months, having to go back to it. So it was a while before I actually dropped smoking. And now I've been without smoking cigarettes for well over a year now. I haven't touched a cigarette or a black and mild cigarette. So I was able to overcome my addiction. You can overcome your addictions with pornography as well. As long as you simply say no to pornography and stop watching it. The Lord Jesus will strengthen you and say, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. And the Lord Jesus shall prevail through your life and change your life for the greater good. So folks, the moral of the story is do not watch pornography. It rewires the brain and it causes you to think lustful thoughts. It becomes a problem, and it becomes a bad habit. It's addictive like smoking and all these other demonic movies that are no good. So stay away from it. Please do yourself a favor. If you're looking for a woman, pray to the Lord and ask the Lord for a woman to come into your life, and things will change for you dramatically. You'll see. If there's a girl that you like, or uh, in a woman's case, a man that you like, and you can't get him because he's taken, God says, don't worry, have no fear. I will find someone good for you. You have to trust in the Lord Jesus and not lean on your own understanding. It will open up the doors for you and do good things for you. Well, anyways, folks, that's all I wanted to say. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. There will be a few more faith-based uh, videos that I do. Take care and God bless you all and thank you for watching. Larry the Batman fan signing off. Peace.